Hello and Rain here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 on Prairie Farms. Now, first things first, I should probably also mention Happy New Year. Hopefully everyone's having a great start to uh, year 2023 here. And as I mentioned last year, we're going to be starting a brand new map here today. Again, that is Prairie Farms here. Uh, this is from the same map author that made the Frankenmuth map here that we just played here uh, a few months ago, actually. So... Looking forward to playing on this map, Evan. This is another Michigan-based map, and at least to my understanding, Evan, it is based on a real-life location. I don't know if Prairie Farms is actually a real-life farm or a map or not, but anyway, uh, it is supposedly based on like a real-life location. I'm not entirely sure what uh, location that is, to be honest, Evan, but like I said, it is supposedly based in Michigan here, and I don't know if you folks can tell, but we got a, uh, a plethora of equipment lined up here. Uh, we'll go through it here in just a minute. So, uh, by the way, if you'd like to uh, download this map, I'll have a link down below in the uh, description there. Uh, we'll link to the uh, Facebook page there. And, uh, by the way, again, this is the uh, same map author that made the Frankenmuth map. So, anyway, uh, equipment-wise, what do we have? Actually, you know, uh, before we get to equipment, let's uh, take a quick look at the map here. We just uh, looked at it here a second ago. But uh, for those you can see, here's what the map is. A lot of big square or square Asia rectangle uh, fields, you know, they're all like squares, right? They're not, well, I guess we got a couple angles here, but you don't see much in the way of round fields and all that uh, funky stuff here. Uh, typical of what I would say you would see, at least around where I live, most fields are relatively square, you know, there's a few exceptions here and there, but most fields are big and square. So that's what we have on this map. We're currently sitting up at the dealer here. The farmyard is right across the road here. I have not sold the uh, the equipment that came with the farm yet. I kind of wanted to show you folks that I, I thought it was a weird, uh, kind of some weird equipment. Was it in this shed? Oh, yeah. Okay, this shed is what has, I think this is all the equipment here with the exception of the truck that is uh, sitting over here. So this is the uh, equipment the game starts you with. So if you start on this map, I mean, this is what you're going to get. Um, I, I just thought it was kind of a weird setup here. So you got a little planter here, a little, is it two, three, three bottom plow, I think that's another cedar. Oh, is this the okay? This is a planter, uh, row crop planter, and then you're, you have your grain drill, your cedar here, small three meter cultivator. Folks, getting the theme yet? And then boom, what do we got? The, what the heck is over here? Uh, great big John Deere 9420R, 8R, uh, 280, and then a uh, Case IH 9250 com. Actually, I'm not even sure where the head for this. I have not seen a head for this combine. Uh, I presume there's probably one around somewhere. Maybe I don't know. Although, like I said, I haven't seen one. There's a fertilizer spreader as well. So, uh, needless to say, I'm going to be getting rid of this equipment here. We're just going to sell this stuff off. I just wanted to save it so you folks could see what you actually start with on the map here as far as equipment goes. Uh, plus, I have bought a couple additional fields here as well. I bought fields 3 and fields 9. Uh, oh, and field 2. See, I thought I bought another one. So, fields 2, 3, and 9. Uh, the game, when you start this map by default, starts you off of field 6 here, which is actually 3 fields if you look. So, you got... Uh, I guess it's number five on here, but uh, it's got six, and then those don't really have numbers on them, I guess. I guess there are five. Oh, no, there's a five over here, so I don't know. They don't have numbers on them. I don't know what what numbers to call those fields, but they got uh, two more fields there. At least it looks like they're two. Uh, we'll see. It's maybe uh, maybe in the future, and we'll just uh, combine those all into field six, so that way we've got field six, right? That might be uh, might be uh, something we uh, look at doing. I'm thinking. Also, I'm noticing here. Oh, we got the poles for those. Two. Maybe I shouldn't have bought those. Two. Maybe I should have bought like eight and seven here or something. Yeah, that might be a bit of a problem. Might change my mind on that one. Everyone might just change my mind because yeah. And let's see once here, real quick. If they got collisions on them, I might just end up changing my mind and saying, eh, I don't know if I want to deal with these collisions. Everyone, don't know. I would imagine they. Oh yeah, they they definitely got a collision on them. Yep, don't know that I want to deal with those. So I might just uh, change those fields out here. I just happened to notice that when I was looking at that a little bit uh, closer. Also, I put a couple more sheds down because, well, I don't know if you can tell from the shot there, but uh, we got some equipment. Uh, yep, yep. Also, uh, props to anyone that can guess what uh, what equipment I went with here. So if you know your YouTube farmers, everyone, I kind of decided... You know what, I'm going to kind of try the best uh, I can to stick with what equipment they had. So, props to anyone that can guess what uh, what YouTube Farmer's equipment I went with here. Um, got a couple of Big Ben setups here. Or, actually, this is a one Big Ben setup. Thought I had a little bit different one, but I could not find the one I was looking for, so I just decided to go with that one there. Everyone's got, uh, what, eight? I think it's eight Big Bens. I'm not entirely sure how much that holds. 
And then also I've got the uh, corn dryer mod set up here as well. I thought we might uh, give that a try. thought that sounded like a bit of a fun here. Um, be nice if it was like integrated into the main setup right of them, but uh, alas, that is not actually a thing. So, oh well. Do plan on giving that a try or something. Actually, speaking of corn, or dry corn, where do you sell dry corn at? That is actually a good question. Uh, no idea. We'll find out, I guess. Actually, what? Uh, okay, so dried corn, it can store 42,000 bushels. That is, uh, actually, wait a minute here. So input, it can hold 85,000 bushels. Then dry storage is 42,000. Okay, that's comically small amounts. I'm comically small. I, if, if you go look at some of the European stuff, Evan, the European bins and stuff like that, you're like, whoa, this is probably huge compared to the uh, some of the European bin, the in-game bins that hold like, uh, you know, 5,000 bushels or something, right? I mean, which, let's face it, you'd be laughed off the side of the planet here if you got a 5,000 bushel bin nowadays about. Okay, maybe not quite that bad, but uh, you folks get where I'm going with that one, hopefully, right? I don't think there's any farmers that are probably putting up uh, 5,000 bushel bins, at least for storage of crops anyway, maybe for... Uh, like seed storage, stuff like that, right, of them. But for actually, like, storage of crops, I mean, how many farmers are putting up 5,000 bushel bins anymore? Uh, probably not very many, if I had to guess. I could be wrong in that one, Evan, but uh, most of the uh, the bins you hear about, uh, 20,000 is probably about the smallest nowadays. You know, whereas most uh, most farmers are probably putting up 100,000 plus bushel bins. So, and that's, that's just one bin, everyone. One bin, 100,000 bushels, you know, sometimes. Again, all depends on the width and the height of the the uh, the bin. Anyway, getting over to the equipment here, everyone. Yes, can you folks guess what? Uh, it should be pretty obvious. Um, should be pretty obvious here. I think I think I've gotten everything anyway. Um, there's a couple slight exceptions where obviously I did not quite have the exact uh, model tractor, or I just kind of went as close as I could. Speaking of this uh, tractor, the 7630. Uh, I was debating on the safety of buying this tractor. For those of you who watched my last series on Elk Mountain, this is the tractor I'm on that took off. And I mean, it took off. Everyone, we never did get it back. It disappeared off the map. It just went, pew, it was out of here. Um, also, speaking of this tractor, I'm, I could not find a loader that fits this tractor. I went through four different loaders, and they all said they're not compatible. So, I don't know what loader. I've got the loader brackets on it, as you can see, but... None of the loaders would actually fit it. I don't, unless it says... It doesn't say in the shop here maybe what loader fits it. I might have maybe overlooked that part. Maybe. I doubt it. With well, that being said, I tried like four different ones. So, where is it here? There it is. 7030 series here. And if we go to the front loader. Yeah, front loader attacher. John Deere 700M. Huh. Is there two? No, John Deere 700M. I believe that means it has the John Deere 700M front loader attacher. Weird. Well, maybe I'll have to try it again here because I'm 99.9% .9 sure that is the one I tried. If we go down to our front loaders here, the John Deere 7, yeah, the John Deere 700M. I am 100% sure I tried this already, but uh, we can try it again. I did it actually buy? My shop is actually kind of full here at the moment. Um, if it did buy, I don't know where it went. That's a very good question. Uh, let me see if it actually bought here a minute. Do we actually own one, or did I just not pay attention? Uh, no, uh, yeah, that's what, kind of what I figured. I mean, I wasn't paying attention. I just quick clicked it, and <laughs> nothing actually bought, did it? Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. I'm used to being able to tap W on it when it uh, starts the motor. Um, I changed out what mods I have, and maybe I'll have to put that mod back. I don't know. Uh, it was the automatic engine start mod, I think, right? Yeah, I might want that one back, because that was kind of nice. You just push W on it, it automatically starts the motor. I'm also running the uh, Disable R... Was it, how's it going? The, the Disable Automatic Engine Stop mod, or something like that. Of one. It basically stops the game from turning off the motor, which... One of those pet peeves of mine, everyone. For those of you who have watched the game, or watched any of my videos before, you know... Okay, let's try this one here again, John. Your 700M. What it says in the, uh, the shop there... It's the only one that fits. Okay, let's grab the tractor. See once it goes on. I'm pretty sure I tried this already, Evan. So it just says, uh, what's it say? Not tool not supported or not compatible, something like that. Yeah, tool is not compatible. Okay, 
It says it has the uh, John Deere 700M loader attachment, everyone, but and you pull up here, it's not compatible. So I don't know, everyone. Don't know. I, I suspect there's some issues with this uh, tractor. This tractor does not work with course play, and I'm not sure how long this tractor is going to last on the farm. I mean, this tractor might have to just... <laughs> We might have to switch that out with something else. I was actually going to go with a 7R, but I don't... I should know what. I didn't think of it. Maybe it's under here. Is there a US for? Oh, there is a US version. Okay. Look at this one. That's right. This one actually does have... I might switch that out for, like, this tractor. One. That actually might be a really good idea. And, uh, and it's not going to match exactly with what the farm I'm trying to match here as far as my equipment goes, Evan. But I think that's going to be a better tractor for us overall. Um, like I said, the 7630 is not what I would consider to probably be a good mod. It doesn't seem to have any errors that I can tell of them, but it does seem to have some serious issues. It doesn't work with course play and auto drive. Uh, again, it took off flying on us one time. That To me, Evan, that tells me there's some very, very serious, serious problems with a mod. I just don't know what they are. And, uh, I, you know, again, just because there's no error messages doesn't mean... Why does it look like that tire's flat? There we go. Got pushed in the ground there. So actually, you know what? I think, uh, oh, one of the pieces of equipment I bought here landed on it when I bought it. I don't know why. Apparently, the collisions weren't quite right. I think it was actually one of the uh, the headers over here. Speaking of headers, there's our uh, selection of headers, which I just realized I'm going to have a hard time connecting to these, aren't I? Okay, well, anyway. Have you folks uh, guessed what equipment I've gone after here? Let me, uh, let's just uh, start walking down the rows here real quick, everyone. Um, Farming-wise, I don't think there's actually anything to do right on the map here at the moment. So we're going to have to skip some time before we actually have to... Ooh, well, that field needs to be plowed. And there's weeds in those. Uh, so we might have some stuff to do, everyone. We might just have some stuff to do. Actually, uh, we don't care about those fields because we don't own them. That's weird. That part of field two doesn't have weeds. Okay. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, something else we should do, too. Evan. Before I uh, look at the equipment here, let's... uh. Let's go purchase our soil information. I plan on playing with the uh, precision farming and we'll see once how it goes. I mean, I'm almost thinking maybe seeing once if we can take the precision farming to the extreme. Like we, I really want to see if we can push, like really push our precision farming, our smart agriculture. We'll, we'll just see what's what we can do with it. So anyway, um, you know, what? I'm planning on selling off. I'm not going to bother buying that. We're just going to purchase this one. And we'll purchase this one. Okay. And you know what? While we're at it, everyone, um, let's go back to this map. Let's sell this. Yes. I think we take a hit on this, don't we? Or not. Does it sell for the same price? Okay. No. Okay. And we'll sell that one. Yes. Okay. And then we're just going to buy seven and eight. They should be about the same price, I would assume. Six, yeah, just a little bit more. And eight. Also, I guess just a little bit more. But anyway, I think those would be far better fields here looking at them. We don't have to deal with the poles. Which, in case you can't tell, but with the amount of equipment we have, we are probably going to be making use of course playing auto drive in this series. So hopefully folks don't mind that. I'll try to do as much work as I can myself here. But with that being said, we got a lot of equipment. We got some big fields, everyone. We are probably going to be using course play and auto drive. So, and uh, we're trying to make them as smart as we can here as far as their usage goes so they can uh, automate themselves as much as uh, possible. But, uh, yeah, having poles out in the fields are like that are definitely going to cause some problems there. Weird how that field looks like that. Like I think we'll plow that field together like I was saying ever once we're done harvesting those. Um, I do want to get into some animals here on this map, Evan. I really want to look into doing that here. We'll see once. I'm not sure if this is going to be the map for it or not, Evan, but I kind of was having fun with the animals on Elk Mountain. So we might get back into that. We'll see once here. That's uh, going to maybe my going to be my goal. Now, of course, I don't have any equipment for animals at this point, Evan, but we'll see once how it goes. Anyway, let's look at our equipment, Evan. So case uh, IH620 quad track, uh, 540 quad track. We got a 500 quad track. We got a 9470RX quad track of course we got an 8rt370 another 8rt370 they didn't let me put numbers on them hmm. oh well uh we got a 9530t we got a john deere 7630 which I'm, yeah let's uh we're gonna plan on switching this tractor out of one because not not a good mod um it looks nice doesn't seem to have any errors but uh like i said it's got some underlying problems that uh anyway uh john deere 73rd 7 
3-2-I sprayer. It does not have the smart technology on it, which uh, I did not buy any of the smart stuff for any of this stuff yet. I figured that was something we could work into an upgrade to have one. Uh, we also got a commander here, another sprayer. We got a terrogator here. This has the air... I forget what they call that again, based it for fertilizer and stuff like that. Uh, did have to make uh, you know a few changes here from the the uh, the equipment of the YouTube farmer I was going for here, one because uh, they they got some very poor choices in trucks there, so I had to <laughs> you know substitute some better uh, better choices here, one. <laughs> anyway, uh, got a Ford F three fifty. There's another uh, one sitting over there as well, pulling a uh, gooseneck seed tender there. Uh, Mandaco roller, front and loader. We got two gravity wagons here. We got the Brent. 2596 and yes Evan that is 2600 bushels of storage there and then we got a 2000 bushel one as well um I don't actually have a mod for a Brent uh 2096 I don't think it is we got a little uh uh um forgot the name of this here anyway we got one of those things that's bad of me forgetting the name for that too because I drive those in real life but anyway um got a couple of plows here uh, a couple more cultivators on this side. Actually, no, let's go back to this side here. Uh, got a cedar. Oh, let's get rid of that. Well, actually, no, we probably keep that one because if we switch out to the John Deere 7R, that should fit the 7R. Uh, a cedar. I bought this cedar because, again, I want to maybe get into some animals here. So that's going to be my goal. And when we do get into animals, I'm going to kind of want... And I was debating. You folks let me know. Should I just start out right away with animals? If you folks say yes, uh, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my animals that I had on our previous map. And basically, I'm going to try to pull them from that map over to this map, everyone, so we can kind of pick up where we left off. If you folks think that's a good idea, let me know. Throw it down in the comments, everyone. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Um, I'll probably, and if we do that, I mean, I'll probably just like cheat in a couple million dollars, buy the buildings, and uh, I'm going to try to get the animals. And I should be able to, if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to transfer the animals, essentially, from our previous map, Elk Mountain, I should be able to transfer them from there over to this map and kind of keep where they're at. Maybe even keep their food and stuff. We'll see once. I'm not 100% sure if that's possible, but I'm fairly certain I can do that, everyone. So that's might be what I try. So again, let me know in the comments. If you folks want to see that, let me know. I'm thinking I'm going to pull those animals from that map over to this map. And we're basically just going to keep our progress, so to speak. Because we never really finished the animals on the other map, everyone. Uh, we bought them. We fed them. I think the closest ones we got were like to 90%. So we were almost ready to sell them, and we quit the map. Well, that was the end of the year. So anyway, uh, two John Deere 1777, yeah, 1775 NT planters here. Um, just a uh, John Deere 2410. This actually counts as a plow. So I'll have to remember that one. It is real life. It's a cultivator one, but whoever made it in the game here made it a plow. Uh, these two are actually cultivators, though. So the case I each... I think they're Tiger Mates, right? Yeah, the Tiger Mates, 255s. I think they're both the same, I think. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I bought them both the same. Uh, there's our other uh, Ford truck. This is a 2011. The one over there is a... I think that's a 2020, I think. Uh, we got two John Deere combines. One on tracks, one on tires. One with a fold up hopper. One with a uh, um, hopper extension on it. Uh, you folks, <laughs> any guesses yet? Uh... I don't know, if you haven't figured out what farmer I'm going for at this point, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if I can help you. There's, uh, I don't know, man. It, it should be pretty obvious here at this point, I think. Uh, obviously, I'm probably missing a few bits and pieces here and there. And uh, again, there's probably a few model numbers here and there that I'm not quite 100% able to match, especially in the cultivation equipment. Everyone, unfortunately, that, uh, that uh, I can't really match very well at all. I, I thought I could at least match the, uh, the 2410 here, but that one is a plow, not a cultivator. Um, I'm not sure either if I'm going to keep this particular unit, everyone, because it is a little bit notorious in the game here for having some physics issues. Probably nothing that would cause any major issues, Evan, but again, it's, it's, this one's a little sketchy here. This is the, which, which one is this? Is it the 24, or not 24, 2720. It's either 2720 or the 2730. I forget which one's which, but one of those two, Evan, they are a little bit... Yeah, but just be careful. Just be careful. Anyway, let's uh let's take a look at our fields here, man. Um, oh, you know what? I guess I sold off. I sold off both fields that need to be sprayed, don't I? Hmm. 
that takes care of our spraying here for this uh this time around uh possibly what we do need is fertilizer though oh you know what let's actually go back to the screen because now we can purchase our soil information for this field and this one okay there we go uh looking pretty good i guess uh let's switch over to our ph uh ph i'm guessing we'll have to go out to the fields here uh, you can look on this map, Evan, but I don't know. This map doesn't really tell you a whole lot, if you ask me. Uh, nitrogen. Oh, I'm guessing we need some nitrogen. Although I know field six here, the actual like field six is soybeans, so that doesn't need any. Uh, I'm not sure what's on the rest of the fields here. Yield. Yeah, no yield data yet. So I'm thinking Evan, we probably want to get some uh, pH or some lime going here and some probably fertilizer as well those these fields of this field here doesn't appear to be planted nope that field is not planted okay what's on the other two fields here by the way actually might be nothing oh field eight is planted with what is on field eight is that grass uh that shouldn't be grass because that doesn't normally come in as green what is on that field alfalfa ah we got alfalfa oh alfalfa that I don't know, but unless you folks like are really, really against it, uh, I, I think that solidifies the fact that we need to get into some animals here on this map, everyone. Um, and I know I'm set up here for major crop farming at this point, everyone, but I'm thinking animals might be uh, kind of fun here as well, as long as we can keep fed that type of thing. So, okay, so that field's empty. Field seven appears to be empty as well. So we just got six. Uh, what's on? Don't have a number for them, everyone, so I don't know what. Oh, actually, yeah, this field's ready to harvest. What is on it? Wheat. Okay, might have to get our combines out. Corn on that one. First things first, though, let's see if we can get some lime and fertilizer on these fields. And as I've said before, but when it comes to fields that are already planted, growing, uh, especially when they're already ready to be harvested, it's about a 50-50 chance, Evan, as to whether it'll work. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't, but I think it's worth a try. So let's see if we can uh, put some lime and fertilizer on these fields, because, again, Evan, that will drastically increase our yields if we can. Might have some fun getting our equipment out of this uh, yard here. Got a little crowded in here, Evan. Uh, something I need to put down yet, too, and I just remembered this. I need to put down our silo system storage system, I guess is the more appropriate name. We're filling up our equipment. Where should I put that? Right over here might be good. Oh, I got that shed. I can move that shed if we have to. Yeah, I'm thinking of this right here looks like a really nice open spot for the most part. And that is under, I think it's under containers, right? Yep, there we go. The Meridian uh, Storage Yard mod here. For those who haven't seen this mod before, uh, quickly becoming one of my favorite mods here for filling stuff up. It holds everything, everyone. There is one slight problem with it, and it's, uh, I'd say, more a giant's fault than anything. Uh, if you have a planter, which we do, a planter that holds both seed and liquid fertilizer, which, like I said, we do, uh, we're going to have to put down a second tank for liquid fertilizer or one for seed. Well, yeah. Probably actually the liquid fertilizer would be the better idea. So we probably won't ever put any liquid fertilizer in here because unfortunately, giants in their infinite wisdom do not let you fill a planter that has multiple fill types from a building that holds multiple fill types. Store subject. Where is the liquid fertilizer one here? Filled with fertilizer. I think that's the solid one. That's yeah, that's the one I want. Okay. I'll just put that one over here. Need to have it far enough away from these, Evan, because otherwise, again, it, it's, yeah, it's going to be a problem that it persists. Okay, we need line. We'll buy 100,000 liters. That should be enough to get started, right? I don't know if this actually holds lime or not. Yes, it does. Excellent. I've never actually used this uh, particular mod before, I don't think, so. Let's 
I don't know, someone uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's any uh, smart ways of applying lime other than what precision farming has. It's just, uh, it goes off the base map. Uh, so again, with the fertilizer oven, you've got some additional options. You can, of course, just uh, apply based on the map, the precision farming soil map, essentially. Uh, it'll apply based on that. Or, uh, if you want to get smarter, so to speak, which is where I want to go with this series, by the way, Evan, um, you can buy some of the uh, detection equipment so it can actually detect the nitrogen needs of the plants. And, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how it came to that's that, but uh, kind of want to maybe look into doing that. Like I said, I don't think there's an option for doing that with lime. I think lime is still just uh, applies based on the soil map, but... I'm going to hold out. Oh, there. Okay, it's just slow. Patience. Looks like I got the uh, width about right here. Um, these are soybeans, right? So no fertilizer needed on these, everyone, but... Which I still find a little bit weird how Giants has done that in the game, but oh well, what it is what it is. Okay, let's turn on GPS here. Let's get... Uh, Show lines on. Oh, and you know what? We don't have any courses yet, so we need to create a course. So, A plus heading. Set A. Zero degrees. Ooh. And we'll save that as a zero degree course. Add that. And then we'll set A to 90. Okay, and then actually, which one do we need? We need... I think this is actually a zero. Auto with that as well. There we go. There we go. One. Good. The uh, the sound on this particular mod is interesting, shall we say? If you ask me, that one. Oh, I gotta say, I do like that animation though. That does look nice. Wow, the sound on here is unique. Um, you know what? Muzzle just keep on going across. I have no sense of stopping, right? Oh, that's going to be interesting. This field actually... Okay, I was going to say we should uh, join these fields together. It looks like they are already joined, although I'm not sure about the very middle. There, It might not be joined right in the middle, but... That is going to make uh, things very, very interesting here with this. Uh, okay. I wonder if we got any uh, mobile refill options from Line. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. Uh, and if you folks have any good ideas on how to uh, mobily refill Lime on this truck, let me know. Um, I'm trying to think. Have we got any good methods for doing Lime? Not sure. I don't know if the seed tender would hold Lime or not. And not to mention the whole problem with that seed tender, too, everyone is. Like, it's going to fill the truck up once, probably. Oh, that's a ditch there. Okay. Go for that. We might might have gotten ourselves stuck, everyone. Nah, thank goodness for having left. Hit this with some speed. Maybe we'll get across to here. Oh, ooh, we just got it. Just got it. Okay, so noted. Don't uh, don't go too off, far off the field here on this side. I will remember that here for the next pass. Honestly, I'll have to remember this mod in the future. I mean, at least we're applying lime. I'm rather liking it. it seems to like it works pretty good. Of course, it's going to go through the lime fairly quick. Uh, we're probably going to get, like, what, two passes, maybe? And again, going back to what I was talking about with the lime there, everyone. Okay, the seed tender holds, like, one load of lime. What good does that do me? I mean, I, at that point, I might as well just drive this back to the farm, fill this up, and come back. Because otherwise, now I'm having to fill up the seed tender, bring this out to the field, empty the seed tender into that, then essentially bring the seed tender back to the farm, fill it up. At that point, I mean, I might as well just take this back to the farm, fill this up, and then... Makes sense? I don't know. Makes sense to me anyway. But whatever. 
Anyway, I've been looking at the time here. It is time to wrap it up here for this episode already. So on that note, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And of course, I'm, don't forget, what uh, what YouTube farmer am I trying trying to mimic here with my equipment? Let me know, Evan. Uh, you folks should be able to figure it out relatively easy, I think. I it jumped me too hard, so. And uh, let me know too, Evan, if you want to see animals on here. I'm thinking we might uh, maybe we'll rebuy the field across from us here. We'll put animals over there, and like I said, I'm going to try to. Uh, if you folks want to see it, I will try to pull the animals we had from the last map over to this map. So again, let me know, Evan. Now, with that, thanks for watching, Evan. Welcome to uh, 2023, a brand new map here, Prairie Farms. Again, link is down below if you want to check it out. So with that, everyone, till next time.